Hi guys, welcome to our daily encounter. In 2 John, the Apostle John says to the chosen lady in verse 12, Though I have many things to write to you, I do not want to do so with paper and ink. But I hope to come to you and speak face to face so that your joy may be made full. Uh, he makes a similar statement to Gaius in 3 John in verse 13, where he says, I had many things to write to you, but I am not willing to write them to you with pen and ink. But I hope to see you shortly, and we will speak face to face. So in both of these letters, John expresses the desire to not just correspond with them and communicate with them through pen and ink, but to actually speak to them face to face, in person, to stand there in their presence and speak to them uh, face to face. And this was John's desire. And as wonderful as it is to be able to write something, uh, to be able to send a letter, or in our day and age, to be able to send an email or a text, however wonderful that is, how much better is it when people are able to speak face to face? And that was John's desire here. He loved people. He loved being around people. And what he really liked to do is not so much write to them, but to speak to them uh, in a very personal way. And as we read uh, these verses, both in Second John and Third John, we can do so kind of with a with the thought of perhaps what God desires. You know, for a long time, the Lord has been speaking to people through pen and ink, that is through His Word, uh, primarily, and so. Through his word, he's communicated to us uh, things about himself, his own characteristics and attributes, uh, the way in which he has opened up a, a way in which we can have a relationship with him, ways in which we can interact with him and also uh, respond to him in various ways. Uh, the Lord has given us his word written in pen and ink to communicate to us his will, his desire and his plan. But I can't help but think that the Lord himself even desires a day in which he will no longer speak to us in pen and ink, but face to face. Uh, that we will be able to see him face to face. He will be able to speak to us face to face. And we'll be able to be in his direct presence and be able to uh, communicate with him in that way. There's plenty of places in scriptures that talk about such an experience. Uh, we read about this in First John chapter 3, in verse 2, where it said, Beloved, now we are children of God, and it has not appeared as yet what we will be. We know that when he appears, we will be like him, because we will see him just as he is. So, so the hope there was that one day we will see him just as he is. Right now we can't do so because we're in this physical body, but one day we will be like him, and then that will open up the way for us to be able to see him face to face, to see him in his direct presence and in his glory. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, in verse 12, he says, For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Um, again, the idea of where we might just see through a mirror dimly. Uh, in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, he talks about how we, how, uh, we see in this uh, mirror in a very dim way, this glory is only uh, expressed in a dim way, uh, where he says in verse 18, But we all, with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as from the Lord, the Spirit. But the, the promise is, is that now we just see him kind of in a mirror. We see his characteristics. We see his Godhead, his power, uh, kind of in a reflection. But one day... We will see him face to face and he will be able to communicate to us and speak to us face to face. Uh, in the book of Revelation, at the end of the book of Revelation, it ends with the glory of the Lord uh, coming down and, and being with the bride and them enjoying the new heavens and the new earth. And, and the presence of God will be so real that they won't even need a temple because God's very presence will be uh, like the temple and he will be the light that will enlighten everyone. And so we have the promise that one day we will see God face to face, no longer to speak to us in pen and ink, but to speak to us directly, uh, face to face, in person. And so I can't help but think as we read Second John and Third John, when John expresses the desire to not just speak to them in pen and ink, but face to face, 
that perhaps God has that same desire, and that should be our desire too. Right now, we value his word, we value the pen and ink that he has given us, but we do so with the hope that one day we will see him face to face. And now we see him in a mirror darkly, but one day we will see him in his full, the full expression of his glory and his countenance and his greatness and his majesty. And we will be able to speak to him uh, just as I am speaking to you now, or you might speak to someone in your presence. So these are, this is the hope that we have as Christians. Uh, and we can hold fast to this and think about this, even as we are reading the pen and ink each and every day, to look past that, to look forward to the future when we will see God uh, in his direct presence and speak to him in that way. So here's some things we can think about and reflect on as we do our reading today. With that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.